goodbye, me. And never stop fighting. This dam. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. What did you make of me? I wondered if you were anything like me. Carrying within you something damn important to prove to yourself. I was. We both were. Bet you had no idea we'd end up like this, though. <laughs> Truer words I've never heard. Night City chewed us up good, didn't it? Doesn't matter, don't think. We'll forget it all, tanning our backsides in the Arizona sun. Time and perspective. Need a bit of both. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Would you stay with me? If I changed my mind, didn't want to leave. They're my family, V. I can't abandon them. I wouldn't want to. And I'm glad I won't have to choose. You're coming with us. And then, we will see. Then? Maybe we ought to try not living for thens anymore. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. What's the plan? Everything is set. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City, good night and good luck.
This is rot. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. We had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. Fuck me. You are a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> but it works, doesn't it? Say, say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. Pan Am. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone. Even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Let me be thoroughly honest with you. Okay. You look like shit. Do the great outdoors truly serve you so poorly? Huh. 
Can always count on getting complimented when you're around. Seems the great outdoors and fresh air have done you a lot of good, old man. Kept you spry. It's not the air. It's just been one conviction. It lets me fall asleep like a babe come nightfall. I wake up with a clean conscience with the dawn. Got a feeling I'm about to learn it. We nomads choose who to make our family. And choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. It doesn't matter what happens, what will happen. Within this family, nobody turns their back on you. You understand? I do. Believe I always did. Now you had better ready yourself. We've got a border to cross and a storm to run from. It's a hell of a lot for one day. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol. Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carolyn Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. Are we all set? Mm -hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't think it just right manually, 
It could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't here when I was little. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. Not returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'd be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home.
Hey, V. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> you Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. Anyway, if you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by at Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles, just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V, listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. I never realized how hard being a chief would be. It always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Hey, Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Two messages, actually. 
One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay?